Hello and welcome back. This time we're not talking about a synth, but about something else I came across when I worked on my last video about the Kawai K1, and that is how to store and transfer patches without using a computer. Um, the patches of the Kawai K1, which I came across on the internet, were in SysX format, and they contained all the different sound cards that were available at the time for the Kawai, but with all the computer I had to trouble or I had to come up with something. I had to come up with a way uh, how to, on how to uh, send those patches to the machine. And the solution was quite easy. All I had to do was find an app which was uh, which is available for Android phones and tablets, and this app is called MIDI SysX Utility. And what it does is it manages SysX files and sends them from end to machine. In order for this to work, you will have uh, you will need a tablet or phone with a USB host mode compatibility. So you need a special adapter, and you need your phone or tablet to be able to work in this mode. Uh, with the adapter you connect a MIDI peripheral, for example in this case this M-Audio USB MIDI adapter and uh, Once you are connected you can send patches to your synth, uh, you usually have to set up the synth in a special way. To you have to disable uh, the memory protection or set it to a certain channel or enable this enable this function. Um, you can usually find this type of information in the manual. And then once you've set up your machine, all you have to do is to tap a button. And in the case of the Kawai K1, the whole uh, memory bank will be transferred to the machine. So you get uh, a lot of new sounds. But uh, the interesting thing is that it also works the other way around. So um, just a quick break, maybe to explain what SysX is for those of you who don't know or aren't uh, as MIDI informed as uh, some of you. I guess are. Uh, so when the people who uh, created MIDI uh, invented the protocol, they were very forward thinking and they didn't just come up with a way to sync machines and to send note information or control information, for example, volume, but they also came up with something called MIDI SysX, system exclusive. This is information that will only be understood by a specific machine. They do it by sending uh, or giving each machine an individual code. There are manufacturer codes and there are also codes for the individual machines. And then only this machine will understand uh, the information that is being sent. So uh, that's a good information actually because uh, you are not able to do anything wrong with SysX because only the machine you want to send it to will understand it in a mini network. So in this case, for example, you also have the possibility to send uh, to set the device ID so you have can have identical machines but still be able to um, distinguish them in the MIDI network. And uh, as I've already said, this works both ways. So uh, if we wanted to, we could dump the information, all the patches and kits created on this machine uh, by simply um, picking dump in the app and pressing enter. And as you can see, all the patches and information are sent <laughs> as a uh, very long line of uh, interesting numbers and uh, letter combinations. Those are called hex codes. And once the machine is finished transferring those, um, I'm able to save them and to organize them. And uh, because this is a portable device, also uh, I'm able to carry them around with me. So uh, this makes something uh, like uh, organizing patches very easy if you're not like me using a computer if you're completely doorless you are still able to transfer and save patches you are still able in some cases to do uh, system updates and you remain portable and can still work doorless but also um, have all the benefits uh, using patch librarians like this one uh, give you I hope you also like this type of information. See you in another video soon, maybe with this machine, maybe with something else. I'm currently working on this baby here. Yes. Um, see you soon. <laughs>